Good morning, Centerville, and welcome to the Coffee at the Continental Show. We're here to get you up and on the go. So come on down and have an espresso, or a simple low cup of joe, and watch a coffee at the Continental Show. Good morning, Centerville. Good morning, good day, good latte. Yeah. Good morning, Centerville. We're already laughing because we're silly like that. Uh, actually, we were just talking about uh, Jeff, my uh, former co-host. So he makes us laugh because he's funny. <laughs> we're idiots. Yes. All right. Uh, sunny, high in the mid-80s. Sunny. Sunny. Just sunny. It's, really it's beautiful nice. out here. Look at us. We're naked on the <laughs> cover of the Rolling Stone. <laughs> and bloody. <laughs> Tonight... Uh, partly cloudy and low around 70 so beautiful day beautiful night ahead uh, no rain no thunderstorms nothing like that so awesome awesome weather and that's always good to roll into the weekend with I, I don't know tomorrow is gonna be as nice but let's keep our fingers crossed I think there's gonna be a little yeah something going on tomorrow. but we'll find out when tomorrow comes uh, yeah, the cover of the Rolling Stone, uh, True Blood. What's up with that? Have you, have you, you haven't seen it. Have I haven't seen it? seen it. I have not seen the movies yet, but it's not something I'm interested in. But I think the cover and what it's going for, I think it fits the... It fits the show. I think it fits the show, yeah. Well, there's a lot of controversy about it, but... <laughs> That's uh, my own opinion. If, if, uh, if, if, if you haven't uh, seen the cover of the new Rolling Stone, uh, it has Alexander Skarsgård, or whatever, however you pronounce his name, and Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer, uh, covered in blood and naked. And naked. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I don't, it's a little disturbing. It's, I, I a lot know. of people find it disturbing, but it's if you want to see disturbing, and it's true blood, but mm. yeah. Uh, if you want to see disturbing, just stop by my house this afternoon. I'll be mowing my lawn topless. <laughs> you think the cover of the Rolling Stone is bad by my house. It's funny, I was talking with Bill Burns the other day. I said, you know, once you hit 40, you just don't wear wife beaters anymore. <laughs> he said... <clears throat> He said, I was getting ready to go out of the house from the top for something. I don't know what it was. And I had a tank top on, and, and uh, my wife was like, are you really going to wear that? I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I still wear white beaters around once in a while. You catch me out. You know, I, I used to stay in my pajamas till like, 3 in the afternoon before yeah. I started doing this. Like, I didn't even care. I just ran around Centerville in my pajamas, pajamas. <laughs> and a white beater. Uh now I actually have to get dressed in the morning, so and of course I could do the show in my pajamas. Yeah, that would be nice. I would like to just wake up and do the show. I think maybe in the winter we will. We should do it naked, covered in blood. There we go. <laughs> right? Uh, so a lot of controversy, I guess, over the cover of the Rolling Stone. Um, some stores even refuse to stock the issue. Oh, really? So yeah, so like really big, uh, and. Uh, they think you it's know, we see like soft porn. So. Yeah, that's what they. Yeah, yeah, you know, not. we see celebrities on the front of magazine covers, half naked all the time. Yeah. Um, I don't know that fully naked, covered in blood. No, and I don't. You know, that justifies. I mean, it's it's a little sick, but I mean, if you're into that mm -hmm. that vampire thing, it's not really. You know, it's just like, oh yeah, it's just a picture. Yeah. I I I think they could have just took one guy out of there. Yeah. Just, you know, maybe the guy and the girl. Just want, you know, like not having it a threesome. Like she's kind of getting tag teamed or something. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> it actually really does. Like, and she's enjoying it. <laughs> well, uh, so uh, let's see here. They, you know, I was in, I, I was reading about this on E Online, and uh, like some of the people were actually saying that they wished it was an adult magazine because they could have seen better pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some people just said, it's a funny vampire show. Why are people so high and mighty about it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, There's a lot of True Blood diehards out there. <laughs> yeah, and, and what do they call They call the Twilight fans. They call them Twihards. Yeah. Do they? Twihards, yeah. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> They're Twihards. So, uh, <clears throat> Twilight for children, True Blood for adults. 
Twi uh, hard for the men. We're living in a vampire <laughs> world. Oh, Twi. <laughs> twi Willie Hod. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess, the, uh, you know, and a lot of people do say that's what it portrays what the show's about. So if that's, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you know, so that's what the show's about. If you, why, why, you know, be upset about it. But I guess if you don't watch the show, you're like, what the heck is going on? Um, definitely people are, are, are saying it looks like, uh, looks like soft core porn. Uh, and they think it's part of what's wrong with TV anymore. This was a magazine. Well, actually, it is a TV show. Is it, but it's not. It's it's a TV series. But it's on, like, HBO or something, right? I believe so. Like, There's, it's on, like, a, a channel that you can show, have nudity or something. Like, yeah, it's R-rated so. type yeah. deal. Yeah, um, it's definitely R-rated. Um, I don't know who commented this, but they said, I'm fairly open-minded, but this is a disturbing picture. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, somebody said they're just trying too hard. Twi hard, twi harder, twi harder. <laughs> True blood. Uh, the cover is so over the line. It is such a lack of taste to put beep 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 like this on public display. I guess I'll beep beep. I don't even know what they were trying to say. S T H. What's that short for? S T H. I don't know. Well, apparently it's <laughs> naughty. Uh, I guess enough of that. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't picked up your copy of Rolling Stone, do so. And uh, I guess you could pick up some sex toys with it. I don't know. Yeah, give us your comments. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you think. Has the Rolling Stone gone pornographic or is it just a picture of people naked with blood on them? I don't know. I... I I haven't, I, you know, I hadn't seen the, seen it until this morning either when I was uh, just looking around for something to talk about today. And, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really bother, I guess it doesn't really bother me. I, I think just take one of the guys out. I'm still kind of yeah. like really, you know, because then you've got like a gay thing going on too. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. But maybe they are gay, which I guess they would be, be fine. Right. Maybe we need to watch it and see what's I guess going we on should watch there. the show and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if they're gay or... Uh, be on the show, Centerville, naked and covered in blood. Uh, <laughs> we're starting a new free promotion series, and we've been talking about it all week. And, like, this is a no-brainer, really. I mean, if you can promote your business for free on our show. Yep. Might as well do it. Free might advertisement. As, might as well do it. And, uh, you know, it's a win-win because that gives us a guest for the show. Yep. Gives you some free publicity. Yeah. I don't know if it's good publicity. <laughs> you were on their show? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, maybe we try too hard. <laughs> twi hard. We twi, twi hard. harder. Twi harder. <laughs> uh, we are encouraging all area businesses to give me a call. 641-856, no, 895-1104. And uh, book your date on the show. Come on down and be silly with us or whatever. Yeah. And get your word out. Because, Fun. you know, we... Uh, <laughs> We are very firm believers in spending local and keeping our local economy uh, on the up and up. So uh, that's why we're doing this for you. Uh, come on the show. Come on the show. Come on the show. Please. And uh, Yeah, please. Save us. Uh, big Red Pride Night Friday, so I'm still really excited. And do you have any Big Red paraphernalia? I sure don't. We could dress up tomorrow for the show, like with a bunch of big red silly stuff. If we like, yeah, we could do that. Well, we just gotta find. We like, gotta find it first. That's we have gotta trick. find it. If you have some big red stuff that you'd like to donate to our cause for the show tomorrow, we'd return it. You got covered the in blood. Yeah, <laughs> covered naked. in blood. <laughs> we'll show up at your door, naked, covered in blood, begging for big red clothing to wear. Uh, uh, please remember you can uh, still donate cookies. Bring them over to the chamber before noon tomorrow. Bake up some cookies, a couple dozen. Anything you can donate would be great. And they're also still looking for people to volunteer. Of course, I can't. I'm a one-man show here. I've got to cover the event, so I can't really help serve food and, and things like that. Um, yeah. But they are looking for some help, so if you can get out there and give them a hand. All donations are appreciated. Yep, I'm sure they will definitely appreciate it, and it's for a great cause. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, 
Uh, and football season kicks off Friday, August 27th, so we're really excited. That's uh, a home game against Albia, so that's a big rivalry. Yes, it is. They'll be naked and covered in blood by the time that one's <laughs> that's over. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a picture for the cover of the Daily Iowegian. <laughs> Go Big Red. <laughs> yeah, naked and bloody. Uh, this Saturday night, Wubby's Roadhouse, Mr. Fugly, really excited to see them again. I saw him at Pig Out, and I was talking with Jeff the other day. He, uh, he was, you know, he, he said Pig Out was, was really a tough event uh, with all the motorcycles burning rubber on that cement in front of the stage, and they were just eating it. Oh, I bet. They said their voices were shot, everything was shot. I was like, wow, they didn't sound that bad. So they must sound even better when yeah. there's not a bunch of... Harley's burning Harley's rubber. Harley's burning rubber. Yeah, that was. Would... Yeah, I get you know, and I ever realized that, and they that all just mm -hmm. sucks right into the stage there when they that's, do that. Yeah, that's So the band that's horrible. on stage is just like, <laughs> 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 kidding me? <laughs> so I'm really excited. Uh, get out to Woobies. Did I say Wubbies earlier? Did I just you say Woobies? Did I say all right? Because yeah. I'm always messing that up. <laughs> uh, so get out to Woobies Saturday night. Band usually starts about 8:30. Mm -hmm. I'll be out there, of course naked and bloody with my video <laughs> camera hoping to get on the cover of the rolling stone <laughs> uh, i was looking at our stats last night we're almost up to 800 unique ip addresses for the month it's only the 19th great that's awesome so we've we've uh we're, we're close i think we're about 150 ip addresses away from our record last month of 960 something <laughs> We're going to beat our goal, hopefully. We are going to beat our goal. And we've been up in the hundreds every day now. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. And uh, the page views are through the roof, like 400 page views a day. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have I not mentioned yet? Business in the spotlight. We're probably going way overboard on the time today. I might have to uh -huh. cut a whole chunk of this out. <laughs> um, <laughs> business in the spotlight, the home collection, once again, all week long. 119 West Van Buren, right here in Centerville on the square. Can we see it from here? I believe it's... Right there it there. is. Yep, right over there. It's right on over the there. Side of the square. Right there. Uh, right next to J and K. Mm -hmm. Somewhat, I believe. And uh, their phone number is 641 The beautiful things in there. Yeah. I, I go amazing. in there like once a month and that, just to look around. They right. got really neat stuff. I go in there to take a nap sometimes. <laughs> they have comfy couches. <laughs> <laughs> Member in the spotlight is Emily. And Emily, thank you so much for using the website. And I did want to mention, uh, I'm not really sure what happened. And uh, as technical, uh, as as technological, wait, that's not even a word. As technically advanced as I am, uh, I'm not sure what happened. But um, some members' avatars disappeared, and they're back to like the just the little ghost man, really, the mystery man <laughs> thing. So I'm not really sure what happened. I do apologize. You might have to upload your avatar again. I believe Emily is one of those people. I, I apologize, Emily. At least yeah. you're our member in the spotlight. Yeah. So, hey. Can't beat that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Centerville. We probably went way over time. You probably won't watch the whole video, and that's okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We love you. See you later. See you. And uh, don't forget, I'll be naked in my yard mowing the lawn this afternoon. <laughs> Covered in blood. Covered in blood, so you can check that out. <laughs> See you later.